Thank you very much. And before we begin business this afternoon, I'm sure all members would wish to join me in thanking the emergency services and indeed our own staff for their professionalism and assistance today. I would also wish to thank all members uh, for their patience while the issue uh, we dealt with earlier was resolved. Thank you. We now turn to the first item of business, which is topical questions. Start with question number one from Ruth McGuire. Presiding officer, to ask the Scottish Government what its response is to the recent Child Poverty Action Group report, The Austerity Generation. Cabinet Secretary Angela Constance. Presiding officer, this report can be added to the catalogue of evidence that the UK Government's onslaught of welfare changes and austerity has been deeply damaging to individuals and families. The report shows that across the UK, universal credit will push a further one million more children into poverty. One million more children. And I, presiding officer, find that utterly appalling and the Tories should be thoroughly ashamed of themselves. The member asks for the Scottish Government response to the report and I can't put it better than the CPAG Chief Executive Officer, Al Alison Grant Garntham, when she said, since 2010, rather than investing in our children, UK government policy has been creating an austerity generation whose childhood and life chances will be scarred by a decade of political decisions to stop protecting their living standards. Which goes to show that it was just pure rhetoric when Theresa May said on becoming Prime Minister that she wanted to tackle the burning injustices of having different life chances if you were poor. So, presiding officer, it's time to protect our children and reverse these destructive cuts. Ruth McGuire. Child Poverty Action Group have said that this report shows that the Tories are guilty of a colossal failure of public policy and breaking their promise to reward those who work and that their policy decisions make the Scottish Government's pledge to end child poverty in Scotland much harder. Would the Minister agree? Minister. Side so, I do of course agree where the Scottish Government is demonstrating a very clear ambition to eradicate child poverty by setting ambitious targets. The UK Government's decisions are pushing one million more children across the UK into poverty. And of those, the Child Poverty Action Group state that 900,000 will be in severe poverty by the end of the decade. We all know that 70% of children in poverty live in households where someone is in employment. And so, with the Tories' policies working against us, the challenge to reduce and ultimately end child poverty is indeed significant. And as governments, we should be seeking to reduce child poverty and create better outcomes and lives eh, for future generations. The Tories are doing the opposite of that and indeed are presiding over the biggest rise in child poverty since modern records began in 1961. Ruth McGuire. The, I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that answer. The Child Poverty Action Group report reveals that cuts to universal credit will push up child poverty across the UK by a million. Would the Cabinet Secretary reiterate calls that the UK Government must halt the rollout of universal credit and fix the major mistakes in this benefit that are seriously hurting the people of Scotland? Yes. Side officer, the Scottish Government has, along with others, repeatedly called on the UK Government to halt the role of universal credit until it fixes uh, the fundamental flaws, uh, starting with the inbuilt minimum six-week wait uh, for first payment. But as the CPAG report shows, it's far more than that. It's cuts in the tax credit system, it cuts and freezes to work allowances, the benefit freeze, the benefit cap, and of course the two child limit, which has brought about the appalling rate clause. And under the cover of simplifying uh, a complicated benefit system, uh, the Tories have systematically and ruthlessly made cuts and introduced new policies, which will see working families hit particularly hard. CPAG are also uh, not the only ones highlighting the damage caused uh, by universal credit. A report uh, out today from the, the Trussell Trust uh, shows that in areas where universal credit has been in place for six months or more, there has been a 30% average increase in people coming to food banks compared to the year before. So let me repeat, presiding officer, the UK government must take its head out of the sand and take urgent action now uh, to reverse these policies and to stop even more families and even more children being pushed into poverty. Adam Tompkins. 
Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Um, uh, tomorrow, Presiding Officer, we, we in this Parliament will be debating and hopefully passing the Scottish Government's Child Poverty Bill. Without anticipating too much of what might be said uh, tomorrow afternoon in that debate, I would like to thank the Cabinet Secretary for her constructive approach to stage uh, three of that bill. Does the Cabinet Secretary agree that the bill now is much stronger than it was when she introduced it into this Parliament and that it has been strengthened because of opposition amendments to it at stage two, um, amendments which were voted against, amongst others, by Ruth Maguire uh, in the Social Security Committee? Cabinet Secretary. President Officer, we will indeed, uh, I believe, come to a historic moment tomorrow, again without preempting Parliament's uh, decision, when I hope that we will unite across this chamber uh, to push forward uh, with our Child Poverty Bill. A Child Poverty Bill that was not in this government's manifesto, showing that this government is always prepared to go above and beyond the commitments that we make in public during elections uh, and in our manifestos and in our programme for governments. We want to do the right thing and I've welcomed uh, the engagement across Parliament uh, with regards to the Child uh, Poverty Bill. And the Child Poverty <coughs> Bill will of course strengthen our hand in Scotland uh, to address uh, child poverty. But of course, uh, what Mr Tonkins uh, fails uh, to recognise that given uh, the CPAG report, uh, what they call their austerity generation report, uh, that we all now have to unite against UK government policies as well as uniting around uh, Scottish government uh, legislation because the loss in family income is a result of cuts to tax credits and cuts uh, to uh, welfare support is absolutely staggering. We will know that the poorest 10% are at risk of losing 10% of their income. That's £450 a year. Working families stand to lose £930 a year on average from cuts in tax credit systems uh, and £420 a year from cuts to the universal uh, credit. So I hope, as well as uniting around our legislation in this parliament, that we'll also uh, finally unite around uh, the damning, damning cuts uh, to welfare that the UK government has imposed. And Polly McNeill. The austerity generation report outlines that freezes and cuts to universal credit work allowances will leave lone parents as high as £710 a year worse off. Does the Cabinet Secretary agree that universal credit is hurting the poorest and lone parents in particular? And it's right that there should be cross-party working to halt it until this system is fixed to be what it should have been. And can she outline what assistance that the government might be able to offer to lone parents who are the hardest hit? Cabinet Secretary. President Officer, uh, thank Ms McNeill for her question. There are a, a range of uh, initiatives, uh, investments and endeavours uh, that this government is currently uh, taking forward. Uh, I know that she is a big fan of financial health checks, making sure that people actually receive uh, the benefits that they are uh, entitled to. Of course, it begs the question uh, of what people's overall uh, entitlement uh, should be. She is right to point out to the increasing plight uh, of lone parent uh, families uh, and across uh, this government, we uh, will um, endeavour always to increase our efforts to help those uh, most in need. And the member, I'm sure, is well aware of the First Minister's uh, programme for government and the range of measures that is outlined in that um, over uh, the next year. But at a fundamental level, we will have our child poverty bill, our social economic duty, which will come in place, our Fairer Scotland Action Plan, 50,000 affordable homes over the lifetime of this Parliament, our massive investment in the early years uh, and childcare, as well as a £750 million uh, attainment gap fund. All of that shows what we are doing now. And as we move forward from our child poverty legislation, the question always will be, what more can we do and what next, not least for lone parent families? Thank you very much. Uh, that